According to new research, published by pro-Brexit think tank Facts for EU, the economies of Germany, France, Spain have been clobbered as Britons vote with their wallets in protest of the UK's treatment by Brussels. The report follows on from one published on Saturday based on figures released by the Office for National Statistics on Tuesday, which indicated sales into the UK by members of the EU27 in the last 12 months were £27.8 billion lower than in 2016. This study, based on the same ONS figures, lists the principal losers, starting with Germany, which has seen exports to the UK fall by an eye-watering £12.2 billion compared with five years ago. Belgium is the second biggest loser with a £3.7 billion drop, closely followed by France on £3.3 billion, with Spain losing out to the tune of £2.6 billion. The Netherlands £2.7 billion, Sweden £1.2 billion, and the Czech Republic £1.1 billion, have also been hit. Following the report, Brits celebrated the staggering drop in sales and called for the public to continue to shun EU goods. OneExpress.co.uk said, the less we buy from the EU the less threats they can throw at us. Good work everyone. Another reader said, like most people, I am actively avoiding EU products. This may be a tiny drop in the ocean but collectively we are making a difference. A third commented, seems they thought the UK populace would just continue to buy from them. A lot of began boycotting EU goods and food stuff some time ago. Good to see it's worked. Someone else simply said, all that loss and more to come. Another added, British people have seen the EU treat the UK like dirt, so we don't forget that. A sixth reader commented, keep it up. Stop buying goods made in the EU. I only buy goods made in the UK. Someone else said, why support an organization that endlessly tries to harm us? Would be a crazy thing to do. Others celebrated the boycott with one person saying, such excellent news. Trade and a toxic economy in decline. You reap what you sow. Another echoed, excellent. So happy my avoidance of all things EU is taking effect. Keep it up fellow Britons. It's all that they deserve for their childishness toward the UK. Responding to the report, Facts for EU's editor-in-chief, Lee Evans, said, British people have nothing against EU 27 people, it's the EU autocracy that's the problem. Any move by British people and businesses to buy less from EU 27 companies has nothing to do with the British public's views about the citizens of EU 27 countries. If there is a trend away from buying from EU27 companies, we suggest that attention be focused on Brussels and the fanatical ideologues who reside and work there.